Alrighty guys, what is going on? Corbin with Corbin's Cornhole Reviews. Back for another episode today. Got Peanut out here playing with uh, some bubbles, so you'll have to forgive that noise. Uh, beautiful day though, so time to do it. Today we have the Big Daddy Carnage. This is the Airwolf Athletic version. Um, kind of like a custom, limited run, whatever. Carnage comes in a ton of different colors. They do a couple uh, runs with Airwolf and they all turn out pretty cool do like them quite a bit I'll show you guys real quick they look pretty sweet back is just their normal kind of carpet style but they're pretty sweet so these are my buddy john's bags he wanted to see them reviewed and a lot of you guys have asked for them so it's time hey not by the boards please thank you so it is time let's get into price I believe they're 60 dollars on big daddy's website they might be 70 not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure they're 60. Uh, very affordable, secondary market, similar pricing. They're not going for too much more. Uh, they are not ACL stamped. We'll say that. Hopefully it's coming, but not sure. Break-in method on these. John does a dishwasher cycle. I think it's like no soap. It's just the heat and, you know, the water and stuff. And then he air dries them or tumble dries them. Uh, they came out pretty nice, actually. They're nice and soft, pretty much where you need them to be. Speeds on these guys. We got a five on the slow side, which is, it's kind of a carpet, but kind of not. It's weird. It almost reminds me of, uh, of the character 77 slow side, but it's actually a little slower than that. So it's not really that side. Uh, fast side is a nine. So five, nine, they play well. Uh, that nine can be quick on certain boards, uh, but most of the time it's fairly controllable. So I do like that. Now we got three Fs, fill, feel, and flop. The fill is nice. I mean, they're normally... A little thicker these feel a little thinner than some of the other ones i felt uh, when they're brand new they definitely feel really thick these ones are a little thinner uh, but the fill is nice it's kind of that asymmetrical disc fill they're they're nice uh the feel the quality is awesome the closing stitch is really nice corners are good seams are good uh, just overall the materials feel nice they feel pretty quality and then flop not wild and i don't think they're going to get wild because these are fairly well broken in but it's at a nice point. It's it's a good point for the fullness of the bag. Uh, playability on these, you're going to go blocks and pushes. I don't know if you can really do flops or rolls or stuff like that. I'm sure you can, but I'm not exactly sure that's what they're designed for. Uh, but if you are able to, then knock yourself out. You know, uh, They will slither in the back and drop down. That fast side is pretty darn hole friendly. Slow side is actually really hole friendly for a carpet bag too. So a carpet-ish bag. I'll put it like that. I don't know if it's actually carpet, but carpet-ish. So Let's throw them, see how we can do, see if Peanut can distract me like crazy, or if my neighbor decides to poke her head out. She hasn't yet. Start with slow side. I mean, they, they're not super quick. I see your bubbles. I was trying to push that one around. I might as well just step out because that, that block is kind of going to be a good block. But kind of centered it up. Might as well try and do a little slow side push here. And bring them both in. They do play well. Uh, the one thing holding me back, obviously, like most bags that I don't throw, is uh, the ACL stamp. You know, And I, I know it's a money grab. I know it's silly. But it is what it is. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the events I play are ACL events. So I don't want to fall in love with a bag that's not stamped and not be able to use it. Um, Thought that was a little short, actually. Turned out being nice. And I will say, when you guys are watching down there, I, I've said this on videos before, and I guess I got to say it again. Cornhole Solutions makes amazing boards. Okay? They really do. There's nothing wrong with their boards. The problem is my driveway. Okay? Most driveways are sloped, you know? And that's off. And mine is no different. And so that is why there's cardboard under there. I need to work on a better shim system. You know, actually make something, do something cool. Do something that looks nice. Kylie, that's enough, please. Thank you. Uh, do something that looks really nice. You know, put it under the carpet, whatever. But Cornhole Solutions makes phenomenal boards. So please don't think that they don't. Um, I, I have to answer that question fairly frequently. You know, people ask, oh, I want to buy some boards, you know, but I see that they're shimmed. What's up? And I'm like, no, seriously, it's my driveway. <laughs> I, I've said it before, and I guess I'll just have to keep saying it. But, oh, boy. There was the front board. I went slick side and I was really trying to just loft it and put it up there. 
it's like that makes me nervous sometimes and that's why because if you miss the hole it just kind of kind of goes um did it again pretty bad round of throwing be nice if i could uh edit this part out but oh my lord but that's why i do uh single take videos you know you guys get to see just how it is and that's honestly on that i can tell you right now i was, I was thinking too much i was caught up in the the board debacle and uh wasn't throwing so we'll probably do another down and back on that slick side just because that was embarrassing it's not starting out any better though i see you baby good job and you know it's a little different uh throwing with the distraction of little peanut out here it's been a while should we get one in phenomenal been a while since i've had her out here oh my gosh thinking way too much guys apologize for those poor rounds of throwing there just got to get in the zone and throw let's stick on uh stick on the slick side here because we got to show that off it is it is actually pretty nice it's quick but it's nice i don't have an issue with this fast side um these speeds just came in a little hot there these speeds are very reminiscent of like a pro x um but it just plays a little bit differently to me feels a lot different uh, i like the feel i hit my leg i like the feel of this bag way better than the field of pro x and it could just be the fill uh, could be the fill that they use um you know i've just i've never been a big fan of reynolds fill i think reynolds makes an awesome bag but their fill is not awesome uh, that's part of what keeps me away i'm gonna go slow side here Uh, I think I'm just trying to aim here. I don't know what's going on. I am trying to aim. I see ya. I'm definitely trying to aim. Better. It's a little fast side push here. Eh, kind of missed. Missed a bag to the left here. Uh, but if you guys are looking for, you know, super affordable, really well playing bag, don't sleep on these things. Big Daddy Carnage, they're they're pretty nice. I I owned a set a while back, and uh, I just I kind of got rid of them because I just didn't feel a need for them, and you know I they didn't have a stamp on them. Oh yeah, that's fine. No matter what, I'm gonna go slick side anyway. I'm totally missed. <laughs> so it works. Let's see if they airmail. Oh, that's deep. Yeah, that was way deep. Really nice line, just. Not too much oof. But I did have a set, back, or a set a while back, and I just got rid of them. You know, no stamp, and some other bags were coming out at that point. I wasn't really sure what I wanted, and, you know, they're, they're a nice bag. I think if they, oh, whole friendly too. I think if they get stamped, they're, they're really going to change how people throw and what people are throwing, because I also have the rivals. That review will be coming, and, uh, I just missed that one. And the rivals are pretty sweet, too. Oh, no, terrible. All right, well, that's enough of the bad throwing for now. I got a couple different sets I got to review today, so try to limit the damage on my awful throwing. But that is the Big Daddy Carnage. These are the Airwolf Athletics version. Make a ton of different ones, but these ones look nice. I like them. Uh, these do have a couple pulls in them, and, you know, that's just from from playing you know bad boards whatever but this slow side it doesn't pull or anything fast side that's a fixable pull you just got to pull that right back through and the, the thread will fix itself nothing against big daddy every freaking bad company you're gonna have pulls no matter what I, i'm just gonna throw it out there unless you play on perfect boards all the time and you never hit concrete right it's just everything has to be so smooth for this fabric not to pull like don't even front board it and stress it like that so that's not a hit on big daddy whatsoever every bag will pull. I got bags that have pulls in them and I play on nice boards. You know, it's just hitting the concrete, catching a little snag, doing whatever. I mean, it's going to happen. So that's not, not a smack on uh, Big Daddy. I don't want anyone to take it like that because, hang on, please. Hey, not, not by the boards. Thank you. So these are pretty sweet bags. Can you walk over that way, please? Thank you. Pretty sweet bags, honestly. And for the price, it's pretty hard to beat. Um, you know, they remind me of a couple of the Buffalo bags you know, as far as price and quality goes. So big fit of that. Um, so that's really it. Short and sweet. 
on the Big Daddy Carnage, guys. If you guys like this one, please give me that thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your buddies, and I will catch you on the next one. Thanks.